In this video, you will learn how to migrate data to a new Salesforce organization. It is important to understand that importing or inserting data from a Salesforce legacy source organization or another external source into a new target organization requires to define record relationships. My name is Robert and I am from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin who wants to learn about payments, then you're in the right place. Record relationships are defined with unique record IDs in Salesforce, so you will need to match and replace old record IDs in your import files with the newly created data record IDs from within your target organization to properly prepare relational data for import. One common mistake made by many admins is failing to test in a sandbox first. We strongly recommend that you run through a migration in a Salesforce sandbox environment before moving into production. Another important thing you should know is that you can reduce your accounts receivable and collection challenges in Salesforce with Chargent. Learn how Chargent can make your payment processes configurable and automated, saving you time and money. Download the guide now from the link in the description of this video. To import records from the organization into another, you'll need to import the records in a particular order to establish the relationship to one another. Record relationships are stored in Salesforce or defined by their ID, so you'll need to populate your import files with any newly created records, Salesforce IDs from the target org. Salesforce recommends a specific import order for core objects. One, accounts. Two, campaigns. Three, contacts. Four, opportunities. Five, cases. Six, price books. Seven, products. Eight, leads. Nine, contracts. If you're migrating charge and data, we recommend following this order for our custom objects. One, charge and orders. Two, transactions. Three, account updater logs. Four, email notifications. Five, payment requests. Six, second pass of transactions. Once you've defined which method is best to import or export your data, here are the steps to organize and then migrate your data. Step number one, identify the data you want to migrate. First, choose which objects to migrate. For example, you want to decide whether to migrate only contact information from each account or only migrate account information from particular division. Step two, create templates for the data. You will want to create an Excel template for each object using a data export from data loader. Since objects have mandatory relationships, which dictate the order of the data migration, identify the required fields for each object. Step three, populate your templates. Be sure to review your data before populating it into a template. For example, load one record, check the results, then load all records. Step four, prepare destination order. Consider creating custom fields to store any legacy ID information. You can call the field external ID. Give the custom field the external ID attribute so it will be indexed. This will help maintain relationships and help you build custom reports for data validation. You can also create custom fields to store data contained in non-standard fields in the old organization. Step five, validate the data. Create custom reports to validate record counts and provide an overall snapshot of your migration. Spot check the data and review exception reports to see what data was not migrated. If you're a charging customer and are looking to migrate away from one of our legacy packages into charging orders, please reach out to our support team. We will provide you with a detailed step-by-step -step migration documentation and guide you through the process to make sure you're able to successfully migrate your data. And now check out this next video. My name is Robert and I'm from Chargent, where we're dedicated to helping you make Salesforce payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.